Ben, up to Washington Park, up to the zoo there, there's always a big disappointment now. Remember the little train that used to run around the zoo? Well, it hasn't been operating for quite a while now. Now there's an effort to bring it back to life. Yeah. One man's campaign to save the tracks has really taken on a whole new life. Oh, yeah, let's go to our Jennifer Dowling now. She's live and talk to the man behind all this effort. And he has a whole lot of support, Jennifer. He does. Nearly 15,000 people signed a petition to save the set of tracks that run from here at the zoo to the Rose Garden. And most people that we talked to today, especially parents, say it'd be great to have that line back again. It's a regional treasure. Why not keep it? Dana Karstensen is leading the push to save this stretch of the Washington Park Railway. He says for many families, the train ride from the zoo to the Rose Garden was a grand tradition since the 1950s. It's just... It's where I get my passion. Dana says when this stretch of tracks was closed in 2013, the zoo trains were forced to run on a short six minute loop rather than the half hour trip to the garden. With the Washington Park Metro plan calling for them to be ripped out completely in favor of a paved trail, some people would like to see them spared. But I think it would be nice to have a little bit that more experience for the younger kids too. And it's, a, you know, it's more worthwhile having a longer train ride. Arabella, are you excited about a possibility of a longer train ride? Yeah. City Commissioner Amanda Fritz has declined an interview about the issue. A spokesperson for Parks and Rec sent a statement instead, saying it is possible that relevant partners could agree to both a trail and a repaired rail line. Discussions are continuing. Prior to any permanent changes being made to the rail line, PP&R Metro and the zoo will work to determine whether it's feasible to repair this portion of the Washington Park rail line. Oh, both would be nice to accommodate people that wanted to walk or bike or train. Nathan added to his mom's comments and suggested the city go one step further to create a train time machine. What about a one minute ride and make it be like a time travel that goes time travel? Bing! Dana would like to fundraise $3 million to restore the tracks. He's working on forming a nonprofit to kickstart that campaign. It's a magical thing, and I don't want to see that magic paved under. A spokesperson for Metro government did say there hasn't been an overall determination of costs yet. However, they think it might run in the millions of dollars to do some sort of repair, something that has also been confirmed by Portland Parks and Rec. Back to you. What is the real possibility of that time train? Do you think they could really make that? <laughs> we'll cross our fingers, boy. Yeah, that would